Hi, I'm Jill Jackson, and this is One Minute with Jill. Today, I want to give you three things to think about when you're considering using the Walk to Read model. Walking to Read is where you group like-skilled kids together above, on, and below benchmark, and you teach them at that level until they get to benchmark. Um, first thing I want you to consider is this. When I take a group of kids that struggle with reading, for example, and I pull them to a below benchmark group and I teach at that level for the entire reading class or even a large portion of it, I can lose touch with what actual benchmark is. So I suggest that you take a portion of your instructional day and do a walk to read where you're pulling like skilled kids together. The second thing that I want you to be aware of that's not a mystery is that kids can get tracked into that level. Sometimes what kids need is just a really quick pick me up for three or four weeks on a skill and then they're on to benchmark information again. The third thing I want you to be aware of is that if you lend your kids to another teacher for a walk to read model, you can absolutely get out of touch with your kids. And so you need to put things into play that allow you to stay in touch, remember what the benchmark is, and make sure that you don't have kids tracked in that walk to read model.